Good afternoon. Today is Fat Tuesday, uh, day before Ash Wednesday, and nothing really in particular of preparing for Lent itself, um, perhaps perspective. Um, so go back to when I was in first grade at St. Mary's School in Sioux Falls. The uh, pastor at the time, Father Robert Flannery, had been battling cancer on and off for a number of years, and um, he passed away my, when I was a first grader. And so the priest that came in after him uh, was Father Al Krispolsky, and he, that was his last full-time assignment as pastor. And the following year, I had him for, uh, he gave, heard my first confession and gave him my first communion. Um, and then shortly thereafter, he uh, retired. Um, and I can't remember what year it would have been. If it was, would have been if it was in third grade, it would have been like 1993 or 94, right in that area. Uh, the next time I go to St. Mary's, I'll have to look on the the wall where it has all the pastors at uh, in their years of service. Fast forward to today. Uh, Father Al's in hospice care, and I had heard a while back that when it, so back up a little bit the more recent past or more recent history he uh, was diagnosed with a, a tumor a brain tumor and um, he's been doing well um, and it, it kind of you know he, he uh, heard kind of through the grapevine of, of priest uh, discussion um, that when it got to the point where his nurse thought that he should be a, uh, living alone in an apartment at uh, Prince of Peace there that he would transition to hospice care. So he just transitioned to hospice care uh, within the last week at least, and uh, I needed to go visit him. Um, he's been ordained a priest for 70 years, and uh, we had a good visit. You know, he, he's, he's in good spirits, um, definitely knew who I was, and there's nothing along those lines that is, uh, has uh, left him. But at the end, um, I asked him to offer a blessing to me. And uh, a few words I remember, you know, I was in tears for the most part. <laughs> uh, but he just prayed that I would be a faithful, kind, and gentle priest. That's what he has been for his whole entire time as a priest. And uh, <laughs> Talked to my dad on the phone on the way home to Garrettson, and my dad had him as a pastor growing up too. And he said, uh, you know, as an altar boy, if there was you know, a priest at the top of my list, it'd be Father Al. So, yeah. Um, it's hard to put into words what a priest can mean in a person's life. So I just ask that you pray for Father Al, pray for um, him as he prepares for these last days, weeks, whatever it might be. Um, and he told me, you know, I've been preaching to, to, to pray for a good death. Now I have to do it. And so, um, yeah, I think that's where I'll leave it. Something short and sweet, but uh, but it leads us into Lent, maybe in, the, in this way, that each day we have that we're alive. It's one day that we can prepare for our own death. And Lent is a time where it forces us to look at that, to look beyond ourselves, look beyond the material and the creature comforts that we have in our life. So I pray for you that you may dedicate yourself to God this Lent through those three things that Jesus will list tomorrow in the Gospel. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let's pray in our Father for those who are nearing death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.